All right, what's up, everybody? Brian here, and this is my thoughts on today's greatest Royal Rumble event that took place in Saudi Arabia, uh, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, I did miss the first three matches, which were John Cena picking up the victory over Triple H in um, what, what, I, what I saw or what I heard was a very uh, good matchup. Uh, Cedric Alexander retained the Cruiserweight Championship over Kalisto. And uh, the, the leader of worlds, Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy, they defeated the bar, Sheamus and Cesaro, to become the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Uh, in the matches I did see, uh, Jeff Hardy defeated Jinder Mahal to retain the U.S. title uh, in what was a, um, I thought it was a pretty good match, in my opinion. Um, uh, the Bludgeon Brothers, uh, they retained their SmackDown Tag Team Championships over the Usos. Um, my thought on that, on this matchup, um, you know what, I thought it was a, I thought it was a very, uh, tough test for the, uh, for the Bludgeon Brothers. Uh, usually they dominate in their tag team matches, you know, when they're facing, like, you know, jobbers, but the Usos really gave them, uh, a run for their money, especially near the end of the match, but it was not enough as Rowan and Harper, uh, would once again, or would retain their SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Um, let's see here, what else? Um, in what was a match that I would recommend checking it out, uh, checking out is, uh, Seth Rollins, uh, retaining his Intercontinental Championship uh, in a fatal four-way ladder match against Finn Balor, Miz, and Samoa Joe. Uh, this one had a real, had an exciting, uh, and surprising, um, um, ending as, uh, Finn Balor looked like he was getting ready to win the Intercontinental Championship by pulling it down, but Seth, Seth Rollins proving once again why Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Raw should be called Monday Night Rollins, um, jumped up uh, on from the top rope to the ladder and grabbed it and surprised a lot of people. I'm pretty sure there's probably people that did not think that Seth Rollins was going to walk out of Saudi Arabia as the Intercontinental Champion. But he pulled it off, uh, retaining the championship, and now his attention, um, and one of the participants in this match, uh, The Miz, uh, looked to make history, and, be, and or uh, um, tying history with Chris Jericho, now he has to, he has another opportunity coming up at Backlash um, when he challenges Seth Rollins for that Intercontinental Championship. So that is a huge match signed for Backlash coming up a week from Sunday. Um, let's see what else. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles. Uh, this match ended in a double countout for the WWE Championship. Um, I thought it was a little bit better than their match at WrestleMania. Um, however, it, with the double countout, it, end, it does continue this feud, and we will see Styles Nakamura 3 coming up at Backlash a week from Sunday. Uh, let's see. We had uh, The Undertaker, uh, who... Um, has not wrestled a match since a few weeks ago at WrestleMania, if you would call that a match. Uh, he took on Rusev in a casket match. Basically, you know, nothing really special here. Uh, Rusev, you know, did the best he could, but uh, him and Aiden English would wind up being put into the casket by The Undertaker, and thus The Undertaker won the casket match against Rusev by putting both Rusev and Aiden English in the casket and closing the lid. Um, the one match that, another match that had a surprising ending and a controversial ending uh, was the Universal Championship match inside a steel cage involving the champion Brock Lesnar and the challenger Roman Reigns. This one was a very physical matchup 
range or Lesnar out of the box hitting so many German suplexes, so so many F fives. Reigns then came back with a with a lot of with some Superman punches and some and I think three or four spears. Um, the ending, as I mentioned, has was a surprise. Uh, Lesnar would end up between the cage and the the ropes. Reigns would hit a spear on Lesnar, and they both went through the side of the cage. Uh, the bell rang, and basically people were probably were wondering what the heck is going on, who won. And here come to find out that they, they awarded the match and the championship to Brock Lesnar, who walked into the greatest Royal Rumble today with uh, 390 days as champion. So they basically awarded him the championship and said that he retained because he was the first one that hit the floor first uh, because apparently his back hit the floor first. So that was pretty much it for that match. I don't know what what was the deal was with that, with that ending, if it's something that they planned, but... I know there was a lot of people that were probably thinking that, oh, this is Reigns' match to win. He's going to win and walk out champion. Like myself, I thought Reigns was going to walk out champion, but that did not happen. And so now Lesnar still has the Universal Championship. So I, I don't know. Uh, which brings us to the greatest Royal Rumble of um, the greatest Royal Rumble match, in which 50 uh, superstars competed to win not only a the greatest Royal Rumble trophy, but also a championship uh, a championship belt. Um, we started off with Daniel Bryan and Dolph Ziggler as number one and two. Both men very impressive, especially the uh, man whose shirt I'm wearing right now, Daniel, or one of his many shirts, Daniel Bryan. He lasted uh, over an hour in that match. I believe they said it was an uh, uh, hour and 16 minutes, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but Daniel Bryan lasted a very long time in that match, uh, and he took a butt kicking. Um it came down to uh, Daniel Bryan, Big Cass, and Braun Strowman as the final three. Big Cass would wind up eliminating Daniel Bryan, obviously given their uh, recent uh, feud that they've been uh, having on SmackDown Live. And then it came down to Strowman eliminating Big Cass uh, to win the greatest Royal Rumble match. Uh, so that was a big victory, a big win for Braun Strowman. Um, in this match, we saw Hall of Famers like Mark Henry, Kurt Angle. Uh, we saw the returns of Rey Mysterio, Hornswoggle. Uh, the Great Khali was in this match. Um, you know, there was a lot of superstars, a lot of a lot of people from NXT uh, were in this m matchup as well. Um, so it was, it was actually a pretty good Royal Rumble match. Um, but Braun Strowman, the monster among men, won it all and, and defeated and outlasted 49 other superstars to win the greatest Royal Rumble match. So, uh, and I do want to say there were two things in this match, uh, one funny moment and one very, uh, one very, um, uh, what is it, um, one scary moment, or not not scary, but one dominant moment for with Braun Strowman. Uh, the funny moment happened when Titus O'Neil was uh, making his way to the ring. He was running, and he tripped, and when, and when he fell, he fell under, underneath the ring to where he went underneath the ring. And it was so funny that the, the commentators were laughing. They were showing replays of it. It was funny. If you guys did not see it, I would recommend checking it out because it was actually pretty funny when they showed the replay of it. Um, 
And then the dominant moment was with Braun Strowman. Uh, Shane McMahon was going for a coast-to-coast -coast on Kevin Owens. And Strowman came, who was did not get eliminated. He jumped up on the ring apron, grabbed Shane, who was on the top rope, and threw him. And Shane went through the announce table uh, that was that was outside um, of the ring and crashed right through it. So uh, Strowman proving once again that he 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 really. He wants to be dominant, um, and that was a that was a pretty good uh, not a, uh, that was a pretty shocking moment in that in that matchup. But my overall thoughts uh, to wrap this video up, uh, my overall thoughts on the Greatest Royal Rumble event was I actually thought it was a pretty good show from the parts that I saw. Um, I really enjoyed the Greatest Royal Rumble match. Uh, I thought all those superstars did an excellent job, especially Daniel Bryan. I was actually surprised that he lasted that long. Um, but, you know, you know, until finally being eliminated by Big Cass, which continues their feud. Um, and I was actually surprised and confused by the ending of the Universal Championship match, but it did not disappoint. Um, so if you guys watched it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Um, if you did not check it out, if you did not watch it, I would recommend checking it out and judging for yourself. But like I said, my my opinion was that I I actually enjoyed it from the parts that I did see. So, uh, with that being said, I would say that this show was, was a very solid show uh, considering it was a uh, kind of a surprise event that you know I, we didn't expect to happen, but you know when they announced it, it was like okay, it's going to happen. So um, I thought it was a solid show. Um, I will have up my Impact Wrestling uh, thoughts on last night's episode of Impact Wrestling up after I make um, after I make this video. So with that being said. Um, my overall thought on the Greatest Royal Rumble event, I thought it was a very solid show. So this has been my review of, and before I forget, um, I also forgot to mention there was a segment that saw uh, Arya Davari and Sean Davari uh, interrupt these uh, four uh, guys who were um, in tryouts in Saudi Arabia. Uh, for WWE tri uh, um, tryouts, and the, both the Davari brothers basically got their butts uh, get, got their butts kicked by these four guys. I don't remember the names off the top of my head, so that was another big moment in that in that show. But um, with that being said, this has been my review of what took place at today's greatest Royal Rumble, WWE's greatest Royal Rumble event in Saudi Arabia. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.